All right, we've got a couple pack. Ooh, we've got a couple packages. But this big one is uh, a little too big. So we're gonna start with eight. Then I'll get the other two small packages on here. Okay, well, I'll take a look at this one on the side because that's the hentai. Because these are a stubborn. There we go. Let's get that mouse off the floor and get the next two packages here. You know, I say it like these are more than one. Oh my gosh. This is one of those ones where the adhesive is being a scumbag. to take a quick peek. I mean, this looks showable. Uh, this is obviously Stepsister hentai Blu-ray release. It's nice that uh, they're not not releasing stuff, I guess. What? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Well, um, I don't know. I guess we don't need to open it, open it. I'm curious, but let's go here. We've got the Demon Girl Next Door. Which has been curious. I've seen some gifts of her being kind of cutesy. Sounds like we have loose discs again. I wonder if it's going to be another one of last week. Which would be kind of weird because, you know, it wasn't just one truck. Okay. Yeah, that said, I don't recognize any of these other characters. Just wondering if those were the same characters. She's very distinctive. Kept in that schoolgirl uniform of some sort. It's hard being a teenage demon girl just plain sucks. <laughs> well, let's see. I see a region A. I see 12 episodes on two discs. English and Japanese audio options. Uh, special features are right here. Yeah. Clean opening and closing. Hmm. Demon Girl Next Door minis. Sentai trailers. Next up we have Gundam Build Divers, which I think I don't have. <laughs> Man, I don't want to be wasting all this time with these. These things are being really annoying. Let's see. I see a region A there. I see audio, Japanese, and English options. Not that I really know what this is. To be honest, I'm a little autopilot on some of this stuff. Oof. This one's an interesting one. Uh, Africa Salaryman. Which it looks like the premise is um, all the characters are. Is it a slightly anthropomorphized um, African animals, I guess? Working in a salaryman environment? It takes an animal to climb the corporate ladder. Doesn't sound like the strongest catchphrase, but you know, I guess. No, that's a general idea. It's fine. Forgot to go and look at the back entirely, didn't I? So I removed the plastic. That's a lot of shredding. But I see a region A. I see an English dub. 
Uh, here's your special features. Promo videos, commercials, Texas opening and endings. Hmm. Next up we've got Radiant Season 2 Part 1. And the biggest part is, or the biggest issue is I do have Radiant... What the fuck? It, it was basically identifying a face over here. I know, I threw that a little far away. Uh, there's Season 1 Part 1 and Part 2. And I, um, I know where one of those is, one of those parts, but I don't know where the other. I think it's Season 1 Part 2 I know the location of. But if I don't, then I do know where the Season 1 Part 1 is, but I don't know where Part 2 is. I see an A and a B. Uh, DVD, Jack. Audio. Yeah, there's English audio on there. Studio Lerche. That's a very different looking girl. Special features. The interviews, Texas opening and ending songs. Let's go in here. I feel so far behind on all this stuff. Still wondering what that is. I was think, just thinking, I don't know what that is. And trying to write it up did not help. Because it looks young and old at the same time. So I am just not sure what it is. I don't know what this show is about. Next up, we do have an ex. Uh, an, Exciting one, I guess. I don't know if this is actually good, but you know, Accelerator was definitely one of the more interesting characters. But this is a certain scientific accelerator. But I never finished Index 3. I see Region A, I sing in English dub. Special features are here. All new bonus anime. Sally Forth, Mr. Excel. Hmm. Promo videos, commercials, Texas openings, and ending songs. So yeah, if you're not familiar with, um, this is part of what is known as the Raildex universe. Although I don't know if this is a complete anime original side story, but I don't think so. I could be mistaken, but I don't think so. Basically, um... Raildex is a combination of the series, a certain magical index and a certain scientific railgun. And they both are pretty much about a world that's kind of centered around Academy City, Espers, magic, lots of cool stuff. Index tends to be more about the magical stuff and railgun tends to be more about the Esper stuff. But there's so much bleed over that it's just important to note and Accelerator is a interesting complex individual who says some very villainous stuff but the show kind of goes into some depth about how some of the motivations for that make sense like well, I guess I don't want to comment too much. Next up, we've got Children of the Sea. Packed with over two hours of bonus features, including interviews with the director and composer, animatic behind the scenes, and more. This definitely looks really neat. Can I take this off? Yes. We do not need that. We just need... Good old slip cover. Creativity and beauty that leaves you gulping for breath. Hmm. Bonus features. Directing, animation, breakdown, interview with composer. Looking for and more. I 
see an A there. This is a, the DVD and Blu-ray version. So I do have this tendency to accidentally get the um, get both DVD and Blu-ray DVD versions if uh, the DVD or if the Blu-ray version isn't clearly marked as having both the DVD and the Blu-ray, but this one does have both. Hard to turn. Interesting. Hmm. Next up, you can see this is clearly JoJo material. This is Golden Wheel. Golden Wind. Sorry. Blu-ray version. Do I have a DVD version? No. What is this? I don't even know if I can pronounce that. So let's open this up. I don't remember if there was All I know is we do have this. Let's begin by taking this aside. I see region A. This one says it's um, got both Japanese and English audio. Okay, uh, this actually goes to the side here. And we're gonna take a look at this. Which is a person, and I'm guessing their stand. Which, uh, yeah, I see the wing on the arm there and there. It seems to be very reasonable interpretation. Now, the question is why was this not closed and why are these things not aligned? See, first we can fix that. I guess I'm going to try to fix these. Oh! I remember that one. You've watched the anime, now read the manga. And then try to put them back into the Blu-ray case. In a better condition than when they were... Two, a three... A seven's on... Seven of the guys on the three. Two, three, where's number four? I'm not seeing number four. This is six of them, but number four can't be found. I don't know what that means. Was he on the previous one? Nope. How strange. Huh. You know, flipping through the booklet, saying, no, that looks neat. But, you know, I never look at those in depth. And then last but not least, Ari Furetta. From Commonplace to World's Strongest. I mean, that part sounds interesting. Looks like a limited edition version, which means that I take that off. And then. That's a giant glob of goo. Hmm. Don't put that on the ground. I mean, that one I'll be able to find easily because that one is grape purple. I'm 100% I'm, I'm certain it's grape flavored. We've got region A, we've got English dub, we've got special features, Twitter picture drama promo. Twitter. Twitter. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm not going to think about that anymore. We're going to take a look in here at all the goodies, which contains art cards, enamel pin, and stickers, and no Twitter what's on the trigger. This is the pin. Oh, the two guns. I'm like, what the fuck are these things? I couldn't tell. But like, I wasn't looking, so, you know, give them a lot of credit. If I'm not even looking... What the hell does this have to do with this anime? I don't know. Uh, the theming is now confusing me. But I know what this does does to have to ooda boo doo boo because that's her. What the fuck kind of show is this? 
Now I don't know. The theming has got me a little confused. Oh, look, there's another sticker hidden in there. This guy seems important because he has guns and we got guns. What the fuck is... That's a different anime, right? Right? I mean... These are like character designs all out of place. That's actually kind of interesting. Now I'm curious. Curious if I can at least fit these back in here, at least. Whoa. That's good enough. Oh, yeah, she was right there on the box the whole time. Is this like Universe Strongest? Because this looks like some sort of slightly noirish sort of thing. And then this looks like it's just kind of silly fantasy. But then the other girl was like medieval fantasy, and it's doing a bunch of different stuff. I can tell you're in there. You can't hide from me. Okay. Oh, look. This one mentions an OVA. U UA's Diary and Hot Love Spring Eternal. So I have to just make sure, have you actually seen an anime with all of these guys in the same picture? Because they're probably just different versions of the same person. Or they're secretly Superman. Because I, I, I have to be honest, I haven't seen Superman and this bunny girl in the same picture before. Highly suspect. Although she shows up all over the fucking place. And that... Medieval fantasy anime girl does not. What does it mean? It means I can't get that back in that way. I have to go on the other side. And then we can take a quick look at this um, art book. Oh, look. It's a good thing I'm on the verge of finishing this up. Because now I can you know, put this in here. say here's this week's anime DVD collection update so nothing to really report here in terms of watching I mean it was more um, no game no life with my friend that's pretty much the only thing I watched everything else was just I don't know I, I guess mostly uh, doing a lot of work in blender I'm specifically trying to build up a uh, a version of Alice Margatroyd's house. I'm not sure if I would say that it's necessarily in-game accurate because to a certain degree if I'm going to build a house and when I get to the point where I build a kitchen which is you know what I did when I built the kitchen I'm gonna say well I at least want these in there. I mean I don't know what the kitchen would look like in Gensokyo but There's a part of me that thinks, oh, no, I, I, I'd, want, I'd want a refrigerator. And in my mind, I would see Alice as maybe receiving it. Maybe they, she doesn't have electricity set up, but she knows how to um, use ice magic to keep the contents inside cold or something like that. And she has a stove with a oven thing, and you know she would know how to use fire magic for that and then she also has a microwave just because a microwave is always nice to have and maybe she just uses electric magic for that and then for all the plumbing in there maybe water magic or maybe she's got dolls just kind of manually doing stuff which is extra important because there is no washing machine dryer set up so I guess the idea would be that the dolls probably can just scrub the um, clothes in a tradi traditional dish tub or wash tub which I have ideas on where I would put that etc etc but you know for the most part it's a mostly modern looking ish sort of house internally and it's really helpful that I can like use stuff around here for reference because it's supposed to be very western themed which basically means um, or western style which means from the perspective of a Japanese person it would be them seeing ours. So it's weird because it's me presenting what I would normally think to have in there. And I don't know if I like the idea of a place like that without 
washing machine dryer. If, but the truth be told, with it laid out as it currently is, I'd actually consider putting those in the attic. Hot water heater as well, because there's a lot of space in the attic, and I think it's probably not a good idea to put your hot water heater that high up compared to everything else, but maybe it's not that bad of an idea. And alternatively, I do have an outdoor pantry sort of thing for storing of stuff that doesn't need to be refrigerated. And maybe that could instead be like a hot water closet or something like that. I don't know. But, you know, that's just if I were to try to do stuff with it in real life. But this isn't real life. This is a blender thing where I'm not putting pipes in the walls. I'm, you know, the bathtub doesn't have a shower thing built into it. Because I kind of thought, I eh, don't need two so maybe I won't but I could if I change my mind in the future I could sort of like the toilet I, I carved out some of the inside of the bowl but I didn't really carve it out to you know be completely realistic because then the question becomes how far do you go which is not far because you can't really see that far but it's things to think about uh, anyways it's been fun make, making the furniture and stuff, and some of it looks really neat in Blender. I hope it looks just as neat when I play around with it in um, VR chat. But the problem is, I'm, I guess I'm trying to create it all, and then I'll probably come back and tweak certain things. Like, I currently don't know how to make windows and doors and stuff open and close. Like, do they have to be their own entity? And if that needs to be the case, how do I synchronize between what I have in Blender right now and if, and uh, Unity? In fact, I might even have problems taking everything I have right now and moving it over to Unity just because um, maybe they all have to be individual things and I'll just have to place everything manually all over again in Unity. But at least I'll have the Blender for reference. And there are some things I could probably combine on the Blender side. But those are all side thoughts. The, the entire point is, yeah, it's fun working on it, but that's pretty much what I fill my spare time with. I've constructed all the major furniture for downstairs, I just haven't done minor things like... I'm not sure if she's going to have, like, candles, or if the lighting will just be mystical, or something like that. Probably stuff on the walls. Yeah, but I guess I'll just have to... I guess before I do that part, I want to play with it, because I want to see what polygons I can save, even though I am going a little... I'm, I'm not going intense with polygons, but I am adding, like, little corners to make certain things rounded. Bevel is a really nice tool. Um, But yeah, at this point, the downstairs is completely furnished, and now I need to make the tower and the attic and the roof. Then I'll have to figure out the outside. That, that, will, that will be an interesting problem on its own. Just because um, I kind of have to figure out how you mix grass and dirt, because there's going to be a dirt path thing, but a grassy field. Shouldn't be hard. Uh, is there anything else worth mentioning? Well, the good news is there's a couple of series that came out today that definitely interest me. If I had remembered that Accelerator was coming out, then I might have tried to finish um, Index Season 3, which, as you may recall, there were issues with it. It felt like it wasn't explaining stuff. It felt like it was just throwing stuff at you a little bit quicker. And I, my understanding as a part of that is a desire to actually catch up with more modern stuff in it so it is rushing through story a little bit faster which is interesting because it didn't feel as rushed per se even though it did so it, it's interesting it was in the middle there so maybe that's there maybe I watch the demon girl thing because that one that one looks kind of cute and adorable and maybe I can just watch that and have something on in the background I don't know I guess if I, I were to talk about anything else, it's Seven Days to Die, which is an okay game. 
I guess the problem right now is I'm not sure what I would want to do. Which basically means I'm back, right back to square one in terms of deciding what to do. Knowing what, knowing what I can do is definitely better. I guess double pocket mods would probably be good to do. Well, you know, I'll coordinate that with my brother and his friend, if that's what we play tonight. If we don't play that tonight... Well, actually, I'm not sure what I would play if I... If, the, if we weren't playing that and they weren't doing anything, so I might just stream me doing Blender stuff. Which might be interesting or might be boring. Excuse me. Ugh, that orange juice... I don't think the orange juice is causing the burps, but that is definitely the main thing I'm tasting in the burps. I uh, don't think y'all cared to know that. That's probably a good hint that I should probably wrap this up, because I do have a meeting in four, uh, 18 minutes. So, y'all, have a nice week.